Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install CentOS 7 on your VirtualBox virtual machine. So hopefully you already have uh, downloaded and installed uh, VirtualBox so virtual machine. And now we are going to download first the CentOS ISO file and then we will see how we can uh, install it on our VirtualBox. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for CentOS. And the first link which will appear here will be from CentOS.org. So just click this link. And in this website, you just need to click Get CentOS Now. And then there will be three options available to download for you. So what I will recommend is the DVD ISO version. So just click DVD ISO and then this website is going to show you the mirrors of your, you know, mirrors of this uh, ISO file which are near to your place. So you can see actual country and then you can click any of the link which is going to, you know, enable you to download the CentOS ISO file. Okay. So click any of the link from here. For, for example, I'm going to just click the first and you can see it's a 4 gb file so you need to wait for a while to let it download okay so i already have downloaded this uh, 4 gb file so i will not uh, download it again but you need to download it uh, you know on your computer first of all okay and once this centos iso file is downloaded it's going to look like this which have the extension of ISO. Now we are ready to uh, install it on our virtual box. So open up your virtual box virtual machine. And here, first of all, we will create a new virtual machine. So just click this button which says new. And then just type here send OS or any uh, name you want to give to your uh, uh, operating system, right? Now automatically uh, type here will be selected Linux and version will be selected Red Hat which is fine, right? So because CentOS is really close to Red Hat but it's a free version so it's okay to select here Red Hat 64, okay? And then click next. Now in here the memory size uh, which uh, is given here is 512 megabyte but uh, I have according to the memory available on your system you can always increase it. So for now I want to increase it to around 2, 2 GB okay. You can even increase it to 4 or 5 depending upon the you know memory available on your system okay and then I will click next. Now uh, in the next step it says create a virtual hard drive now which is okay for us and uh, next option which says use an existing virtual hard drive which we don't want to use right. So just leave it as default which is the middle option which says create virtual hard drive now and then click create and here the option for hard drive file type uh, is uh, popped up and we need to um, you know choose or by default it's VDI format and it's a standard so you don't need to change it and just click next and in the next step you need to choose the storage on the physical hard drive so by default it's uh, dynamically allocated which is uh, really good because if you have the shortage of uh, you know memory then it's it will be dynamically allocated and if you choose fixed then only fixed amount of memory whichever you allocate to your virtual machine it will it cannot be you know increased it will be fixed so i will recommend to choose the dynamically allocated uh, memory and then click next and minimum uh, you know hard drives or hard drive uh, size which CentOS need is 8 GB but it depends again on your uh, you know computer what how much uh, uh, size 
or hard drive uh, size your computer have and according to this you can uh, you know allocate the hard drive right so i'm going to choose a little bit near about 20 gb and i will just click create and then it's going to create the sent os virtual machine on virtualbox but still you need to uh, do some settings because remember we have downloaded the iso file but we haven't given the location to this iso file so just select your CentOS uh, virtual machine and then click setting and in the settings you can see there are several settings you can do from here so in general when you go to advanced setting the second option says shared clipboard and if you make it bi-directional you will be able to uh, you know copy some text from uh, your host machine for example i have windows as my host to your centos operating system so you can copy and paste text from uh, you know uh, from your windows operating system to the virtual machine which is centos and second is the drag and drop just make it uh, bi-directional right next is the system here you can once again evaluate the base memory which you have allocated and if you want to increase it you can increase it right next option is processor by default the virtual box uh, allocates one cpu to your virtual machine but again you can increase it to two or three or four i will make it uh, use uh, two cpus okay and then uh, the next option is acceleration which is uh, fine for us the next interesting option for us here is storage and from here we are going to give the location of our iso file whatever we have downloaded so just select uh, storage and then go to controller ide and then select this empty cd here and then select this round cd icon and then click choose our virtual cd dvd disk file and from here just copy the location wherever you have your centos iso and then give the location of your CentOS. Okay. And select and then just open. Okay. And then click OK. So now you have uh, done the configuration of your uh, virtual machine for CentOS. Then we are ready to start it. So just select once again your CentOS uh, virtual machine and then click start. It is going to start the installation of uh, CentOS. Now this process is a little bit lengthy so you need to be patient it can take around 15 minutes so first option here it says install sent os so we need to install it so just press enter here in this stage and now the installation for the CentOS will start so now the installation of CentOS has been started and it says welcome to CentOS. And from here you can choose the installation language so i will leave it as default which is english but you can choose any of the languages available here okay and then click continue which is going to give you this option just click capture and then click continue once again now in the next step centos will give you few uh, settings to do so the first category here is the localization second is the security third is the software and fourth is the system okay so we will do one by one each setting so first is the date and time setting and if uh, you see this pop up in between uh, your installation you can just click uh, this checkbox and then click capture and then once again uh, click on this uh, date and time setting and uh, from here you can choose wherever you are situated right your location so for example i want to choose europe from here and then i want to choose berlin okay once you are done with this location then you can click this button which says done okay so date and time settings are done then the keyboard setting by default it has chosen uh, english keyboard for us but for now my keyboard is a german keyboard so i can just add 
this uh, German keyboard by selecting uh, the German language. So if you have any uh, special uh, country keyboard, you can choose it from here. So German keyboard, I will just add it. And after adding it, just click done here. Now the next setting is the language support. You can choose any language support from here. For now, I will leave it as English, but you can choose whatever language support you want and then click done here. Okay. Now in security, just click the security policy. And for now, I don't want to change anything here. So I will click done once again. And then the installation source, it's going to ask because we have already uh, given the ISO file path. So it's going to auto detect it and we don't need to anything, right? So click done once again. And then we have uh, software selection. This is the important step because from here, you're going to choose uh, what kind of environment, CentOS environment I'm talking about, what kind of CentOS environment you want to install, right? So there is minimal install, compute node, and a basic web server. So what we, or what I am going to suggest you is, I'm going to choose this option, which says server with GUI, okay? And these, uh, you know, these, all the softwares you can install later also. So I'm going, not going to check them right now, but uh, you can uh, anytime install them later. Okay. So for now, just choose server with GUI and then click done. And now the important step which will appear here will be the installation destination. Okay. So just click this uh, option. And uh, for now, everything is okay because uh, we have already given the size and just make sure that this automatically configure partitioning is selected from here and then click done from here. And after this setting is saved, you can see this begin installation uh, button is enabled and you just need to click begin installation. Now the installation will start automatically, which is going to take some time. But in between this time, you can set your root password and you can even create a new user. So we are going to create both the things. First, we will create root password. And in here, you just need to uh, give the root password, whatever you want. So I'm going to give uh, the root password as I need. And just remember this root password, which is, which is going to help you whenever you want to, uh, you know, use CentOS as a root user and then click done. And the next thing is we are going to create a user. So just click user creation and the username I want to give here is code uh, bind and username I'm going to leave it as default. So full name and username will be same for me, but you can change them. Okay. And then give the password for the user. And then once you are done with this, you can even make this user administrator. Okay. So just click this option, which says make this user administrator and then click done. So we have already, uh, created a new user and we have set the root password. Now we need to wait for some time until this progress bar reaches hundred percent and we need to wait for the installation to complete. So I will pause this video and wait for the installation to complete. So now the installation of CentOS on our virtual machine is done and it says CentOS is now successfully installed and ready for you to use. Go ahead and reboot to restart. But before uh, clicking this uh, reboot button, just go to devices here on your virtual box. So there will be a tab called uh, devices and then go to CD DVD devices and uncheck this option which says CentOS 7 dot ISO file. Okay. So uncheck this option and which will give you this pop up. Just say force unmount. Okay. So once this option is unchecked, then you can click reboot here. So just click reboot. 
and once you see this uh, black screen here you can go ahead and click machine here and just say reset okay so go on machine and just say reset and then click reset here okay which is going to restart your machine so just choose the first option again which says CentOS Linux or if you don't choose this option it's going to automatically you know choose this option and then it's going to uh, start the CentOS uh, virtual machine again okay so when your CentOS operating system uh, reboots for the first time and if it uh, shows you directly the login screen then everything is fine but if you see this uh, message which says initial setup of CentOS Linux uh, 7 license information license not accepted please make choice from uh, 1 to enter the license information C to continue and uh, R to refresh if you see this kind of message then what you need to do is you need to uh, you know enter into the license information and then accept the license information so for that you need to choose the option one so just press key one enter one and then press enter which is going to show you this kind of message which says press two to accept the license agreement so this time press two and then press enter and then you will see a cross before this uh, two number before this message which says i accept the license agreement right so there is a cross before this two point two right and if you see this cross before this point two then you just need to press q to quit okay so press q to quit and press enter which is going to give you this option which says uh, uh, you need to reboot yes so you just need to write yes here okay so just write yes here i have i just need to write yes and then press enter again okay which is once again going to reboot your centos and this time hopefully we are going to see the login screen so now i can see this login screen first of all i will click on the user which is code mind and then i will give the password which i have set earlier and now i will uh, see the welcome screen so now uh, in here we can see uh, this wel welcome screen and in here you can see uh, application and places right so now uh, this centos installation has been uh, successfully completed and uh, you can start using centos right now after first login once again centos will give you this these options which says uh, select your language you just need to select your language once again and then click next here and just click next for everything and then just say start using centos linux now once you are logged in in centos you may want to first of all uh, enable your internet so by default the internet is disabled or off so we need to enable the internet and for that you just need to click this uh, small arrow button here and then go to wire and by default it's off so you just need to click connect and then uh, your internet will be connected right so let's check whether the internet is uh, connected or not so we are going to open up uh, firefox and uh, let's see if it works or not so let's uh, search for uh, centos itself and press enter so internet is working right so in this way you can install uh, centos on your uh, virtual box virtual machine i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now